So excited to wake up when you know you're having a Filipino breakfast. What's the so oh! what them what them weenies called again? They are longanisa. So then we say it log and so that's log and this is sinangag, so sea. Long sea log. She even made us a sauce. Is this for the wieners? Yeah. Ooh. It's got garlic powder, vinegar, and a drop of soy sauce. Yum! And then I went to Starbucks, got us a coffee because we stayed up all night. And some hima wowdies. We're actually going on a picnic later on. So I wanted to get some sunflower. I look so dead. We stayed up until 4 a.m. Subida, dip the sausage in the sauce. Oh, they're sticky! Whoa! Did you dip the dippy? Uh-huh. Yeah. Sorry, I burned it a bit because it's got sugar in it. I know, it's like, what is this, drugs? In Cali? Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna die if I don't have these every day. It was me and Breakfast spot. I got breakfast at Sundays. This is me and Carla's new song. In the room, a That's different. Let's not come down. No? No. Oh, but I like it too, though. <laughs> it's really Today is my neighborhood's, like my street specifically, their local summer festival. She asked me to be a part, but I was like, ah, oh, I think it, it's it's too soon. Like I barely got here. <laughs> Maybe next year though. But I did say I'd come and like take photos for her. Green one. This one? Yeah. I think this one. Oh, I look really scruffy. Alright, we are now in the main street. We just came from the beach. I was originally gonna go to this like new bar that I was dying to try, but they gave us a weird stare when we walked in. So Layla was like, no, we're leaving. Uh, so now we're gonna go check out a couple other places I've been wanting to try. I wanna go somewhere I haven't been yet. There's still so many restaurants. Like this entire street is nothing but food. I'm gonna try to do stuff. Oh, because that was no meat. What does it taste like? Strawberries. Oh. It just tastes like a bunch of strawberries. It's really yeah. good. Sorry, I take the first sip. Rating? I mean, I love strawberries, so it's a 10 out of 10. Oh. But I don't know, no, no, because it's 700 ABN, so. Oh, yeah! Um, that's a big factor. Um, yeah. It's good to try, try one. What's the rating? Maybe 7 out of 10. Mm. 
<laughs> All right, we've come to this like food court area. Like this entire street is nothing but food stalls. However, there's like this little cul-de-sac of just little food stalls around here. We got a bunch of stuff. And she's drinking her very expensive strawberry. I want one of these drinks. It looks so greasy. A bunch of shoe lines. I really want to try that one. There you go. Chili and mustard. Whoa, so pretty. Come on. This is actually so good. Sorry, what was this? It tastes like a fish cake, though. Oh. It's a green thing that's inside yoga. Oh. Do you want a sausage? Yeah, we do. Ask what? Oh, what's that? Oh, I love oysters so much. Seven out of ten. We weigh because I had oysters in somewhere that sort of the age. Where did I just go? We got the last two pies of the day. I was like, you have to try this pie. And we did. It's oh, apple. I'll take the first bite because there's nothing in the first bite. Oh, that's that's so sweet. You sacrificed. That means you have to take two bites. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, I wouldn't consider this an apple pie. Wait, you haven't had any apple yet. I feel like it's all custard. Oh, what? There's more in here. Now you got the apple, yeah. Good. It's good. Damn! <laughs> I gave it a 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 out of 10? Look, yeah. I like the flakiness of it. I don't see it. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Uh oh, I don't need the whole apple. That's good. Yeah? That's good. Is right? It's I so thought it was making it so mild. What was yours? It's good. <laughs> What's the rating though? Mm. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think 10 out of 10. Oh! Yeah. That's Tokyo. And now you get why I don't live here. Anyways, today I had like literally a list, like blah, 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 a bunch of stuff that I needed to do. Guess what I got done? Nothing. And now it's time to work. So I'm actually at Verve, which is so hilarious. This is the cafe that I always work at near my house, but they have one here in Roppongi as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop in here for a while and do some work. And I think Lily's gonna join me later. I'm not really sure. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I hate this time of day. It's like after 12, but before two, I'm literally starving but I'm like trying to do this whole fasting thing. So I'm just gonna be in here hungry for a while, but coffee always helps. Anyway, to work. But this coffee actually looks completely different from the one I usually It looks like milk. I'm gonna. Tastes completely different. That's wild. Have the cutest little garden, faux garden display at the middle of the table. I freaking love it. Look at this. Is this not perfect for literally working on my gardening guide right now? I'm working on something for my website. And if you were interested in the gardening guide, I know a lot of you guys are asking questions. It's absolutely free. I'll try and link it in the description box because I always forget. But yeah, it's free. You just have to put in your email address and then you can download the guide for free. And I made that with the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace.
So Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that can help to turn your dreams and ideas into a reality. I feel like now more than ever is the time to move online. And if you have any idea and you need a website, a store, a blog, a portfolio, Squarespace is the way to go because they make everything super duper easy. They have tons of beautiful templates that are always changing to choose from. They have tons of useful features. You can track your analytics to see just how your site is doing. Last week, my website was down. Guys, it's back up. It was actually my fault. My subscription ran out. But they got 24-7 customer service and helped me out really quickly. So if you got an idea, go to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sundaylove. You can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. Alrighty, update. I've decided that this whole front yard garden thing, yeah, this is over. It's done, it's done. Well, it's, it's mostly done. Basically, summer is the worst time to garden. I think I mentioned this before that I absolutely hate it. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, let me just try it out anyways. It's concrete, it might not be so bad. No, it's bad. Spiders, bugs, I don't like them, I don't. I knew this was gonna be a problem, but I wanted to try anyways, cause it's like partially covered over here. But yeah, the tomatoes, they're not supposed to get rained on. Like the leaves aren't supposed to get wet. If they do, it's like a billion diseases. And of course, I don't know if you could tell, the rain really jacked these things up. Also, there's just so many spiders, I'm too scared to come out here and mess with them and keep up with them like I'm supposed to. So, nothing sensitive is gonna be growing down here, like tomatoes. Instead, I'm just gonna keep stuff like peppers. Peppers don't need any, they don't need me. They do their own thing. Maybe some bigger things like squash, which I have over here. So there's basically three gardens. The side garden, the balcony garden, and the front yard garden, which it looks like Jurassic Park in here. Again, most of the time, I'm too scared to come out here. <laughs> started covering it with some fake grass but yeah just chilies and like big things that i can't have on the balcony like this which is a gigantic zucchini i have two zucchini plants down here these are all peppers got some beets lots of beets stuff that basically doesn't need me so i'm basically just trying to redo this ash is putting stuff in baggies Thumbs out you're getting a tan you need to be out here hey. looks so much better with a tan yeah but that's not <laughs> super random my friend Layla literally called me at 9 p.m last night and was like hey road trip and I was like hey why not I don't know everything just ended up working out just so happened to have a car right now so we're gonna go to Yamanashi and I am so excited because this is actually a bucket list item for me like I have been dying to go to this place they have super late cherry blossoms like there's a billion different variations of cherry blossoms but these ones they're super late and they're like all on the ground and you can see Mount Fuji it's beautiful and the weather's nice today the only issue is it's a holiday so it's gonna be crazy crowded but besides that, it should be really pretty. I have been dying to see this place. I don't know why I never actually went over there. It's not even super far from Tokyo. I think it's like an hour and a half, maybe two. It's, it's pretty close. Anyways, it's gonna be great. Time for a road trip. Gotta get some snacks. <laughs> New coffee jelly. Is it good? Yeah, it's like ice. It's like a sundae. It's got ice cream and coffee jelly. I don't know what this girl's saying, but it's good. We well, drink coffee because you have to, not because you want to. Um, but I don't drink coffee. True. Favorite part of the trip. I know, it's right? It's the pit stop. The service yeah. area. <laughs> Parking area, service area. Get to pee and eat. <laughs> yeah. And there's always a Starbucks. Starbucks! All right, we just stopped because Layla had to pee. I just love these service areas in Japan. They're so much fun. They always have so much food. But we literally just ate McDonald's. I want donbori. I want takoyaki. Oh, no. Whoa. See, like, this is where you get souvenirs. Ooh. Okay, everything looks so good, but I don't have to bring anyone souvenirs for once in my life. I'm just gonna go straight to Starbucks. Dang it, but I want this. I think that's a wasabi drink. Shizuoka cola, but what's the flavor? Oh, maybe not wasabi. No, it's not. Some kind of leaf. Okay, this is the cutest packaging ever. Oh, I love this so much. Wouldn't this make like a dope Moogalobal t-shirt? The toilet is talking. Oh my God, why is it touch screen? Why is it a touch screen toilet? How to use the toilet? How to use? No, oh my gosh. Don't sit backwards. Do not stand on it. Like, did you not learn this? Just, you know, age one, two, three. 
what is what is what is going on. Is it burned the chicken? Good. What is that? I think I just ate batter and that's it. Oh. All right, we're just gonna sit down on the grass and have lunch really quick. I ended up getting yakisoba. Yakisoba man also hit on me. I swear he was yakisoba. I don't know what it is, but that's my type. Mafia, I'm, I'm down. I'm with it. But not today. Oh, How? It's a big bite. Oh, is it good? <laughs> you ate it so fast anyways. It's supposed to be Fuji. This is so, so beautiful, but it's really windy, so I can't like vlog at all, but oh my gosh, just look at it. <laughs> Passing by all these haunted places. Oh, it's a slice of pizza. Yeah. Yes. Down, down, down. Oh. <laughs> oh, you bake them and they're not cupcakes, they're Sweet. ugly cupcakes. And they have blueberry, blueberry. Wait, oh, maybe she doesn't know it. Skip. Oh, okay. yeah. It's fine. Oh, you cry when you cut them. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, it's very sour and they're yellow and you put it in tea. Oh, lemon. Oh, yeah. Lemon? Down. Oh. Yes. Skip. Oh, shh. You're oh, fine. It's my favorite. It's a circuit. And it has a oh, hole in the middle. Cream. Donuts. Yes. Oh, we, oh, oh, we were talking we about, talk about this. Do that at the beach. Eat it at the do, beach. Do that at the beach? Sandwich? No, Eat it at the beach. Meat. 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 Yes. Oh, yeah. you, you, you put it in the pan before, before you, you cook, things. but it's not butter. Similar to butter. But it's liquidy. It liquid. You fry things. Cheese. No. Fry. <laughs> you fry what? You fry it's things. Oil. Oh, oil. Yes. yes. What are the rules of the game? Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm Which so number is this? Oh, fudge, that's math. Three. No, two. Ah! Which number is this? It's a reverse game. You know this? Three. 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 Four. Three. Four. Which number is this? Which number is this? Why? I don't get it. Four. 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 Zero. Zero. Three. I don't get it. Yeah. Which number is this? This guy's too smart for me. Three. I can't. <laughs> Five. Five? Yes. Yo, yo. Which number Why? is this? Listen, when they said all rooms come with a foot massage, book, bruh, yo. Technology is out here trying to destroy the husband. The women find out we don't need men? Bro, it's over for y'all. I need one of these for the crib, officially. Where do I get one? Alrighty, finally just checked in. This is the room. I'm usually like not a fan of colors, but this blue is actually kind of nice. I'm feeling it. <coughs> <coughs> Mostly just excited for this. Like, if hotels only knew how they can get more customers with like sample things like this, like bruh. I got this room specifically for this. Like, I can't wait to put my feet in this. And I know it's gonna come in handy after this music festival. Okay, this is strange, but this carpet, it feels like clouds or like cotton candy. Anyways, let's see what this bathroom looks like. Oh, two doors, we like that, mystery. Is there a light in here? Oh, that's beautiful. It's 
be the bathroom. Oh, I love it. Okay, this is actually kind of how the bathroom at the house I bought in Kyoto was gonna look like. Like I wanted the same like wood paneling unit bath. I love these and they look so luxurious. It looks like a hotel and of course, if I can get anything that's like clean and wood looking, ugh, win win. Obviously, like those really beautiful cedar baths that you see in the traditional style homes. Oh my goodness, so impractical. Like after two baths, the entire thing will be molded. That wood cannot hold up to water well. It's it's just a headache. It's beautiful, but it's unrealistic. Okay, and the toilet room. Do we get all the buttons? Well, there's a few. There's a few. There's some fun. The one time I go out of my way to like read the menu and like order a jelly. English. Anyways, getting some food. Of course, it's ramen. I'm so sick of the three coin store having the cutest stuff in the world. Like, is this an animal bed? I love this color. Oh, I think it's her babies. It could be for the cat. Oh, they're in their beige era. I'm I'm here for it, okay, here for it. Oh my God, I paid so much money for almost the same thing. What? The one store you can get literally everything. Any and everything. Let me get out of here. I don't need to be in here. Just got done eating. I can't rate it. I'm so sad. I feel like my taste buds are off because of having COVID previously. So yeah, all I can taste was like spice and sour, but I couldn't taste any flavor if that makes sense. I thought I got away with not losing my taste buds this go around, but I guess not. So yeah, I wonder how long it's gonna be gone this time. The last time I swear it was gone for like a whole month. I didn't even lose it this time. So I'm really shocked that my taste is starting to go away now that I'm over it. So weird. But like still my throat's jacked up, my voice is jacked up. I guess that's what happens after you have it five times. I think my body's like, okay, you're not gonna survive the next one. Anyways, I think I'm gonna get some snacks. I'm so full and can't even think about food, but I'm gonna go up to the hotel. I don't wanna leave the room, so I'm gonna get some snacks even though I don't wanna eat anything. I can't grab it. Wait, that one's cuter. Everything in this area is Disney themed because the park is like not far from here. Also, you can get hecka bomb Disney goods. Like one stop from here, they have like a gigantic shopping area and you don't even gotta go in Disneyland. You don't even have to have tickets. You can get all the merch. Okay, I don't know why I got this because I don't like watermelon, but it was cute. Oh, fudge. Damn, I legit have no taste. All right, this just tastes like sweet, sweet liquid. Oh, like who, why did I lose my taste after having COVID? Yo, this makes no sense. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not trying to live life like this. Like it's not fun. This is not the type of life I want. Yo, I legit look like a grandma. But like on everything, if I ever get married, bro, it's moo-moo's every day. Moo-moo's every day. Like, I don't know, why would you not have one of these? It got the pot, stop. Not the pocket for the juice box, stop. Oh, who wouldn't want to marry me? Like, I'm a snack and I got snacks. Oh. I'm going to bed. Yo, why did I just put this back in the fridge? I do this with eggs too. Like comment down below if after you crack an egg, do you put it in the trash or do you put it back in the egg carton and back in the fridge? Like, let me know down below. Now I actually uh compost them. I save them to compost and put in the garden. But even when I'm not doing that, I, I used to put them back in the fridge. Why? I know I'm not the only one.
Okay, this is crack. I don't know what it is, but this is an event right now, bro. There's like nothing better than waking up from a hotel to go get coffee. Something magical in the moment. Oh, somebody explain it. There's just something about the activity of going to get a coffee like right when you wake up from your hotel room. I don't know why, but it's a vibe. Like, I was so excited. I was like, ooh, I get to wake up and go find some coffee. Like, that's the highlight. Highlight of my life when I'm out on vacation, not at home. Also, you can't really see from here, but I have a train view and I've been obsessed. Yo, coffee in a show. This is a great way to start the day. Oh, no wonder it felt good. It was. Okay, it's it was 89. Makes sense. All right, I'm a little scared though, because around the time that we're gonna be going, it's supposed to be 94. Ugh. Ugh. Let's hope I don't pass out. Comment down below, what is your favorite thing to do at a hotel? Like one girl I remember, she was like, my favorite thing to do at a hotel is snatch my wig off. I was like, I feel you girl, I feel you. Mine is definitely just get drinks. I know that's weird. Rather, I'm waking up early to go get a coffee or I'm going to the vending machine or you know, going out to go grab a beer, whatever. I just like having drinks at a hotel. It's a vibe. One thing I don't do very often, but I did last night, was watch TV. I usually don't, but it allowed me to hook up to my Netflix so I can catch up on some anime. Ugh, yo, this whole life without a VPN, I don't think I'll ever go back. Yo, Netflix without a VPN sucks. The joke was trash, there was like no options. I'm so glad y'all put me on to NordVPN. Not sponsored, I'm, but for real, oh my gosh. Like the amount of stuff that I didn't even know, I wasn't even able to see. Wild. 